Hey guys, it's Erica here from Big Cat Creative and today I'm going to show you how to add a pop-up to your Squarespace site. Pop-ups are an awesome way to get people to sign up to your email list, promote an important announcement, promote a new product, a discount, a new blog post. There's so many ways you can use a pop-up on your Squarespace site. I'll also run you through all the different settings you need to make your pop-up not only look good, but behave how you want it to behave. So let's get started. Okay, so let's dive in. When you first log into your Squarespace site, you're going to want to click on marketing and promotional pop-up. So luckily Squarespace has this awesome built-in pop-up feature, which is super easy to use. One important thing to note, however, is that it is only available on business and commerce plans. So if you are on the Squarespace personal plan, you won't be able to use this feature. There may be another way to add a pop-up if you are on the personal plan using some sort of custom code, but I do believe the custom code options are limited on the personal plan too. So you're better off probably just upgrading to the business plan and using the built-in pop-up. So you can turn the pop-up on and off using this tab here, but first it's best to program all of our text and all of the settings in, and then we can turn it on. So if you scroll down, you'll see a bunch of different options. If you click on change layout, this is just a bunch of different layouts for the pop-up. So you just choose whichever one you think will work best for whatever you're advertising, but they do all have the same functions and most of them have the ability to add an image. So that gray geometric image is a representation of where you can add your own image. So I'm gonna choose one with an image just for an example and I'm gonna click save. So this is the layout that I've chosen, but again, you just choose whatever layout works with you. You can also enter in your information and then update the layout at any time if you change your mind. So next you'll wanna click on action, and if it asks you to save before you go in there, just make sure to click save, and that will just save your layout options. So the action is basically the goal for your pop-up. So what action do you want your visitors to take? What do you want them to do with your pop-up? Squarespace gives you two options, it's either sign up for a newsletter or click a button. If you do want them to sign up for your newsletter, the only way you can connect this Squarespace newsletter block is if you're using either Squarespace email campaigns, MailChimp, or you want to connect to a Google Drive. So the options for the connection in the Squarespace newsletter block are very limited. If you don't want to use any of these options, then you can't use this form. So for example, if you're using, say, Flowdesk or ConvertKit or MailerLite, any other email marketing platform, it won't natively connect. The only way you could connect it through this form is if you used Google Drive, sent the form submissions to a Google Sheet, and then connected that Google Sheet with Zapier, and then connected Zapier to your email marketing platform. So Zapier, is basically just an app that connects apps to other apps. So it is really handy to have in your business and in instances like this where Squarespace doesn't connect the form directly to your chosen email marketing provider, Zapier can do that work for you. So that is an option to check out if you really want to use the native Squarespace form. Or of course, if you do use Squarespace email campaigns or MailChimp, then you can just click and connect that way, which is really easy. If you don't want to use any of these options and you don't want to use Zapier, what you can do is you can just use a button. So change it up here to click a button and then you can just add a link. And this is really good if you have a link to your form somewhere else. So you could embed your sign up form onto a web page or you could have a landing page and you could just send your visitors straight to that page via a button. So you would put your link in here, just click on the little cog and you can add the link to your landing page here. So that's another way to get people to sign up without actually using the Squarespace newsletter form. There are other things you can do with the button too. If you wanted someone to just directly download a file, you can click on this cog and you have all of these options here. So you can add a web address, page goes to a page on your website, you could add an email, so this will automatically prompt to send you an email. You could add your phone number or you could add a file. So if you upload a file here, when they click on the button, it will automatically download to their computer. 
And you can also add another button here. I can't really think of an instance where you would need two buttons, but if you do, they give you two to use. So you'll just have to decide what's right for you at this point, whether you use the newsletter or just clicking on a button. I'm going to just use the button as an example, but if you have your newsletter, the rest of the steps will pretty much be the same. So when you're happy with your action, click on save, go back to promo pop-up, and then we're going to scroll down to content. The content is simply just the headline and the body text, so you can type whatever you want here. Obviously you'd want to put information about what the action is you want them to take and basically what's going to happen when they click on the button. So if you have a freebie, you want to write a bit about that, or if you're sending them somewhere else, just make sure you give a bit of insight into what they're going to be doing. So once you're happy with that, click save. Scroll down again and let's just do image and style before we do display and timing. So go ahead and click on image. And this is obviously where you're going to upload your image for this placeholder section. So I'm just going to add one that I'm searching, which is basically a stock photo library that Squarespace lets you use, which is awesome. But you can also obviously upload your own photo right there where it said upload. Okay, so now you can see that I've added an image and it will show up here in your pop-up. So once you've done that, you can go back and you might notice too, once you put the image in there, it is cropping it in a way that maybe you don't like, or maybe you'd like to move it within the frame. We can do this. Let's first go into style. And this is where you can change all of the style settings, including spacing, which will adjust the crop on our image. So these things are all pretty explanatory. The headline font, you can choose whichever font you want for your headline, body font, and of course the colors of each. So here you have background color and color behind text. So the background color is actually the color that shows up around the box when it pops up. So you could change that to white and you can see it changing on the screen there. Then the color behind the text is pretty self-explanatory. It's the color that you want behind your text. Under imagery, you have a couple options. So you can add an overlay color, you can add a custom overlay color, and then right now it's just on auto. So you can play around with these. It basically is just an overlay color on top of your image if you want it. The next lot of settings are for the button. So if you have chosen the button, you'll get a ton of options for playing around with how the button looks. So you can feel free to have a play around with those. And then of course, if you've added the newsletter signup, you'll get these newsletter signup settings that you can adjust to. The close button is the styles for this little X button up here. So you can change the color and you can even change it to text if you want to. The overlay animation is quite fun. So you can just scroll through these to see the different ways the pop-up will show up on your site. You have three options there to choose from. And then if you want to adjust things like padding and width and height, you can enable these overlay advanced layout styles. So if you click enabled, a bunch of other styles will show up. And this basically just gives you more options for adjusting the layout. So you could change your text to centered, you can change the width, and then you can update the padding. This is also good if you really wanted to crop your image in a different way. So the more you play around with these, the more your image will change. So there's lots of little styles that you can play around with there. The last set of settings you'll see in here are the mobile settings. To view the mobile settings while you're working on them, I highly recommend clicking on this little mobile icon up here, which will switch your preview into mobile view, and then you can see exactly what you're working with, which is super helpful. So obviously the pop-up looks a lot different on mobile. You don't have the image and it's a lot smaller and it's positioned at the bottom of the page. But because mobile screens are so small, this generally is a good place for it to go. It's not too obtrusive. It doesn't cover the whole mobile screen. It's easy to cross out of, which is good because some people are annoyed by pop-ups and you don't want them to just leave your site. You'd rather they just cross out of it and continue. So you can play around with these styles. Right now my overlay mobile styles are enabled. If I disabled them, it'll just take the same settings basically 
from the desktop and adapt them for mobile. But if you do want to specifically adjust for mobile, you can enable these and you can change all of the colors and even some of the font settings. So once you're happy with how it looks on desktop and mobile, you can go ahead and click save. And then one tip I have, if your image isn't quite positioned exactly how you want it, we can adjust that too. As long as it's the right shape, you can go back to your image tab and then you can adjust this thing here called the focal point. So it's this little dot and you can just click and drag it. And it might take a little while, but it will adjust where the image is focusing. So I want it to focus right in the middle of those mountains, which should bring them pretty much to the center of my image. So getting the image positioning right is a combination of using those different style tools to adjust padding and width and height, and then coming back in here and moving the focal point if you need to. So once you're happy with all of that, we're gonna go back and the last thing we can do is display and timing. So basically these are just all of the settings about when you want this pop-up to display. So you can either have it showing on all pages that someone lands on, or you can actually choose specific pages throughout your website. So I don't have many pages because this is just a demo site, but you can go through and toggle on and off the pages you want to use for the pop-up. The next section is timing. There's a few different settings here for how you want to time the pop-up. You can show timer on a timer and scroll. You can show it just on a timer or just on a scroll. So basically the timer means it'll pop up after five seconds and the scroll means it'll pop up once the visitor has scrolled a percentage down the page. So again, that's just personal preference. You can play around with whatever you like there. So the frequency is quite a cool one. After a visitor sees the pop up, show it again, dot, dot, dot and you can choose when to show it again. So for example, if a visitor lands on your site and they see the pop-up, they either sign up or they exit out of it. Are they gonna see it again the next day when they come back to your site, or are you gonna give them a break, and how long will that break be? And then at the very bottom here, there's something called reset. So you'd only use reset when you have pretty much changed your pop-up to something else, or you wanna reset all of the frequency information. So for example, if you have a pop-up promoting one thing and you've had it running for a while, so you'd have a variety of people who have seen it, people who have clicked on it, people who are paused on frequency, and then you decide you want to change your pop-up to promote something else, you can come in here and just reset everything. So anyone who is on a frequency pause or any other settings will reset and basically it'll just go back to zero. So it's really handy when you're creating a new pop-up. Great, so when you're happy with that, just remember to click save. Go back into the main area, and of course, turn your pop-up on. So just click that little tab and make sure it's on, then hit save and your pop-up will be active. Awesome, so that's it for pop-ups. I hope this video was a helpful guide to show you how to use the pop-ups. Like I said at the very beginning, this is only available on business and commerce plans and upwards. If you did want to add a pop-up another way, you might be able to do it with custom code, but there's no doubt that this method is the easiest method to add a pop-up to Squarespace. So if you can upgrade to get this feature and a ton of other features, I would recommend it. If you have any questions or any other ideas about adding pop-ups to your site, feel free to leave a comment down below.